Hello. Um, some people have been interested in how to colorize, change the colors of the patterns. Kay Hant sent me an email. Um, she could not see the icon that I was using uh, in the video, quick little video that I, I did before. So I'm going to try to amplify this. And sorry for the jerkiness. I'm trying to keep everything in the same visibility and still have a clear understanding of what I'm I'm doing here. I've taken the shape and I've moved it off for purposes of this so that you can see what happens here as well as a close-up of the icons above. Okay, here's the basic shape and you all know how to fill a pattern. Open the fill pattern window and I'm going to do that. I'm going to select one of the patterns that are, is one of the ones I have saved. I'm going to go down here and find a nice little colorful pattern and maybe this one. Okay, uh, well maybe I'll go with something that has a little bit better brighter color. Let's try this one. Alright, so now I have a pattern and you all know that if you go down <coughs> below to the advanced options you can do various things if you have the designer edition I believe you have to have the designer edition for that and um, you go to advanced options down here open them up open that up and, th and this slider bar this slider bar shows you the patterns that you have this slider bar will enable you to get down to the advanced um, options this the scale of the pattern is obvious. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, and so forth. The pan is is an, another nice little tool. If you notice that when you click on the pan, this little icon comes up, and this enables you to go somewhere else in the pattern. For example, you can see I have changed the, the pattern, so I'm going to leave it there. <clears throat> so obvious, and you can tilt it if you want to slide it you know, this way, that way. Uh, some really great options to include uh, transparency, which I'm not going to fool with right now. Well, maybe I will. Here it goes, almost transparent, down to no transparency, so it's quite bright. Now, if I wanted to change the color scheme in all of this, you have to get out of this. And here's, here's where the Designer Edition option is used. Again, open the Shader Effects window, and while this is still selected, go to colorize and as you can see immediately change the color and go from the blues and the greens to the purples and back to some other shades this pattern happens to have so many colors in it so it does some interesting things but you can play with that uh, let me go to another pattern that's a little bit more uh, monochromatic and you can really get the idea um, let's I think this one is nice. Nope, this one's in black and white. Now I have to, uh, I have to warn you that if I saved a pattern in black and white format, that is, I saved it as a black and white, and didn't change the color in Silhouette Studio. Um, you can't recolorize this one ordinarily, and you'll have to play with it to see which ones have saved all of the RGB color information in the image in the I guess it's called metadata of the image if it has saved it and it is not saved in pure black and white um, you will be able to colorize it so let me just see if this one can be colorized I don't think it can and uh, let's move it back and forth no as you can see this one is a black and white image so I can't change the color. The metadata is in black and white, and that's that. Um, you can put an image in here that saves the metadata, but still enables you to to see a black and white image by using some of these other, this tool and this tool. You can actually make a color image go black and white while still saving the color information in the image, and those images you can change the hue or the color of. So let me go back here and change that to one that has
color so you can see that one more time. Let's do the fish. I don't know. I'm going to do the fish. And while I'm here, I'm going to scale it. I'm going to scale the pattern just a bit smaller. Yeah, there you go. Or larger. Let's see. And then I will um, pan the pattern so I can get this little fishies right about there. So you can see the color. Okay, now that I've done that, you go up to this icon, which is Open the Shader Effects window, and Colorize, and there you see it happening before your eyes. Red fish, purple fish, blue fish, and so on, green. Then you can play with the color contrast and brightness. I have these all set where they shouldn't be. Of course, this is you can play with these slider bars and they give you all kinds of different effects. And saturation makes it very pale and so forth. Gamma will make it like really dark. I was playing with that before. Um, anyway, uh, that's what you have when you change when you want to change the patterns. And here's the ones that come with the Silhouette program. Let's see if I can find one that's interesting. Let's change it. That one, yep. Go back up here in the Designer Edition. Colorize. And here you can clearly see all the different options that you have for colorizing in the pattern. Hope that answers your question, and that's it for now.